Hello friends, welcome back to Snip Recorder. We are back with a video and we are back with another Flutter updates and this is the Flutter update for the 3.27. So now let's understand what are the new feature which is introduced. So the first one is the Cappuccino widget updates and here we have the major updates in our Cappuccino checkbox and the Cappuccino radio widgets and they introduce the update to the size, colors, stroke width and the behavior when we press the checkbox or the radio button and they have also added the new properties like mouse cursor, semantics, labels, thumbs, image and field colors and also they have depreciated few of the properties like the active color of the cappuccino and the track color of the cappuccino switch one and also they have updated the cappuccino slided segment controls also and there they have added the thumbs radius separate height padding shadow and the thumb scale alignments now it's also support the disabling of the individual segment and of the proportional layout based on the segment content so the next update they did in the navigation bar and they improved the in the navigation in the cappuccino navigation bar and the cappuccino silver navigation bar they have introduced the backgrounds are now transparent until the content is scrolled under them now you can see in the image also and this will allow the silver navigation bar to have the same color as its background in its expanded state but in a different customizable color in its collapsed state next update they did in the cappuccino button enhancement so now we can apply the ios 15 plus button style using the new cappuccino button size enum with with the new size style property in our cappuccino button we can use the cappuccino butter dot tinted constructor to make the button with the transluent backgrounds you can see in the images and they have also added a new on long press support and the keyboard shortcut actions and all so next update they did in the, the picker and the dialect updates so now the cappuccino picker and the cappuccino date picker will now scroll to tap the items you can see in the image also and also in the alert dialog now they support the tap slide gesture you can see in the image also after that they have added the update in the action sheet and the other improvements they did in the action sheet now we can see the adjusting padding and the font size across all the system text size settings and and also supporting the haptic feedback when sliding over the buttons and the other changes they include the cappuccino context menu now supporting the scrolling if it is action overflow the screen and cappuccino date picker no longer clipping long content in its columns and the cappuccino magnifier now supporting the zoom effect by providing the magnifications scale so now the next update they did in the casual view announcement and there they enable the more dynamic layout within the casual by adjusting the flex weight parameter in the constructor now we can achieve the variety of item layouts for example we can now use the three two one that will generate the multi browse layout and if we use the seven comma one it will produce the hero layout and if we use the one slash seven one it will give us the center hero layout so these values represent the relative weight each item occupied within the casual view and can be customized to suit the user specific needs so the next update they did in the material design update and there they added the announcement in the features like in the segment button they added the new direction property for the vertical alignment and for the button style button classes they added a new icon related property in the style form for the more customization example for the elevated buttons and the text button and also they did the bug fix for the icon size color now aligned with the material three specifications and now the app bar pers persistence the scroll under the behavior when the navigation drawer opens and also in the menu anchor they focus the fixes and improve the drop down menu behavior example we have in the nested scrollables and the filters mechanisms you can see here in the image and the next update they did in the route transactions now the model routes are now more flexible when when the previous and the new routes have a different page transactions and when the new route enter the screen sometimes they need the previous existing routes to play a certain transaction in the to sync up with the entrance transaction of the new routes so now the model routes can provide exist transaction builder to each other so that uh, enter the exist transactions always syncs up so this will allow us to have a multiple route transaction option on the page using the flutter navigation and the routers so next update they did the text selection improvements and there they introduced a new support for the shift plus key gesture 
to move the extent of the selection to the click position on the Linux, Mac OS and the Windows. Also, we can clear the selection under the selection area by using the clear selection function and all. You can see in the image also. And the next update they did in the row and the column spacing. Previously, what is happening like in the row and the column, we have to give the spacing by putting the size box by giving the width and all. You can see in the image also. So now they have given a new parameter that is spacing. And if we put that spacing, that will be applied for all the widgets inside the children's automatically. So the next improvement they did in the engine. So now the impiler is now the default rendering engine on the modern Android devices. While the impiler on these devices has been previewed since the Flutter 3.16 stables release in the November 2023. Since then, we have a large improvement to both the performance and the fidelity based on the user feedbacks. But in the old devices, it is still using a Sequoia rendering engine and will still be used as before. So the next improvement they did in the iOS also and they have introduced the Swift package manager and now Flutter plugin will be able to leverage the growing ecosystem of the Swift packages and also the simpler Flutter installation by using the Swift package manager is now bundled with the Xcode. In the future, we don't need to install the Ruby and the Cocoa port to use the Flutter for the Apple platform. So the next update they did in the Android, that is the S2H. By default in the Android devices running on the Android 15 plus, our app is used S2H mode and run in the full screen. But now we have the option to opt out of this behavior by using some of the code in the application. And also they provide the support for the freeform. Now the Android freeform allow us to resize the app windows and has been available as a developer option. Flutter save area and the media query has been updated to handle the hardware cutout when the freeform window move into a hardware cutout. So now they have also provided a Kotlin build script. So now the developer can use the build.gradle.kts files. So these are the few highlighted important feature which is introduced in our Flutter update. 3.27 so i hope you like the video don't forget to subscribe channel like comment share i will come back soon with another awesome video thank you for watching the video